welcome back to another video you're welcome back to tech africa tv your most authentic techy africa channel first of all we'd like to apologize yet again we've been away for way too long but as you know this was recruitment season and we've been extremely busy recruiting students from all over africa and helping them find excellent schools helping them to be able to apply for visas and to be able to go to Turkey. So we've been very, very, very busy. But as you know, content has to flow and so we are back. We are back specifically because so many people who have been trying to get visas to go and study in Turkey have gotten in touch with me. Many, many, many people have been refused visas. And so today we are talking about the number one cause of visa refusals to Turkey, especially student visas. The number one cause, stick and stay. So welcome back. Uh, lots of people have contacted us via all our platforms, uh, complaining about the fact that their student visa applications have been refused. And so today we wanted to explain, in all the years that we've been doing this, one of the biggest causes for visa refusals in general to Turkey, and especially student visa refusals, is one, just one cause, is fake documents. Fake documents. That is the biggest reason why visas will be refused fake documents especially the economic side you know bank statements um, documents to show the economic stability of the sponsor etc etc that is the biggest cause of visa refusals what can you do it is important as an applicant that you understand one important thing the embassy will check every document you bring for authenticity that's so important and this is especially important when it comes to the financial side or the economic side because you see the most important issue for the embassy and for that matter the Turkish government is to be sure that you have the economic wherewithal that you have the financial muscle to be able to take care of yourself during your stay in Turkey and this is a four year stay most likely or probably a one and a half two year stay that is in case you are going to do a master's degree but they want to make sure that you will not become an economic burden to the Turkish state. Now, if you know anything about Turkey, you know that there are millions of refugees already. Now, Turkey is hosting millions of refugees from Syria and from many other countries. And so the country is already economically burdened with refugees. They certainly don't want more. And so the most important thing for them is that they will check your economic records. They will check your bank statements. They will check with the bank to be sure that these documents are authentic. And so, don't fake those documents. It's so important. What you need to do is take your time and find a reliable sponsor. If you are not sponsoring yourself, and most students are not sponsoring themselves, then you have to find a reliable sponsor. It's so, so, so important. Find a reliable sponsor. I've had scenarios where sometimes the students themselves don't know the document is fake. So it means that the sponsor that you found is not reliable. It's so important. So find a reliable sponsor. Keep in mind, the embassy will check the documents with the bank. So find a reliable sponsor who has the financial wherewithal. I've explained this already in one of my documents. But you have to understand that as far as the bank statement is concerned, the embassy is not only concerned about the, the, the remaining balance. You know? They also check the authenticity of the bank statement. One of the things they check is that they check the flow of the account. So is this an account where there is significant inflows and outflows? That is important to them. So don't just go and get some funds and pile it into an account and say, oh, well, I have $50,000, why are they refusing my visa? Well, your document is simply not authentic enough. There is not enough inflow to convince them that this is a serious bank account. So this is extremely important. Check that. So make sure, whether it's the bank statements or whether it's your academic records, make sure they are authentic. If it's the academic records, make sure they are properly notarized. This is so important. If you don't get this right, forget about a visa. Take note of this and you won't have any problems applying for a visa. See you some other time, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe. More content coming your way next time. Ciao.